Morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse I want to share with you today is in Matthew chapter 24, verse 8. And what's taking place is, is Jesus Christ is on the Sermon of the Mount, and he is teaching his disciples of the signs to look forward to, to the, the consummation and the end of this generation. This is one of the most prophetic chapters in God's Word, folks, and Jesus Christ himself is teaching it. In verse 8, it says, And all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, so first of all, What's, this word sorrows, when you take it back into the Greek, it means labor pains. So what does this? What does the signs of the end generation have to do with labor pains? Well, if you were to read from uh, uh, verse 3 down through verse 7, it says, Let no man deceive you in verse 4. All right. Then it says, For many shall come in my name. Well, who is it that comes in God's name or Jesus Christ's name? It's Christian preachers and teachers. All right. And then, it, and then it says, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. In verse 6, hey, we've been living that through, all the way since the 19th century through 2020 uh, and, and 2021. And then verse 7, it says, nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All of those signs are already rapidly passing us by. So when it says all of these are the beginning of sorrows, which are labor pains, so what happens uh, when, when a woman's about to go into labor? Well, first of all, her water breaks, right? Well, her contractions start getting closer and closer together. Her labor pains become more intense. And why is that? Because she's about to give birth. So what, to, what does that got to do with the, the end time signs uh, in this chapter? Because the labor pains are growing closer to closer to the birth of a new age, folks. We are getting closer and closer. The prophecy in the Old Testament, the prophecy in the New Testament, the prophecy of the book of Revelations, the prophecy, prophecy of Matthew chapter 24. If you are in God's word today, and, and if you you call yourself a Christian today, I sure hope you are, folks, because if you, lo if you love God, then you're going to spend time with him. I hope that you do understand that everything that is taking place in the world today is prophesied in this Bible, and it is rapidly coming to pass. If you're not in the Word of God, you better get to studying. You better hit the books. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, hit your share button, folks. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the Word of God, starving to death for peace and hope in their lives. Um, folks, um, we are now brought to you by your tithes and offering. If we've helped you, help us to continue to come to you. Would you do that? God blesses those who bless him. Hey, uh, me and my wife want to give a shout out to each and every person that's following this ministry page. Hey, we love you guys and your families. We love y'all so much, and we're praying for you and your families each and every day. Thank you for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God.